to the 15th of April. It is Good Friday for some. I started off my day today with a funeral. So I was at a funeral this morning, hence all the black. I have here a whole lot of Louis Vuitton boxes. There we go. Because I think I'm going to sit and do a tag video. The um, Fear of Losing Out video. What do they abbreviate it as? F-O-M-O. -O, fear of Missing Out. F-O-M-O. -O. Honestly, everything gets abbreviated these days. It's been interesting because I have found some receipts. Whilst is it, is it here, I looked, I found my, I think it's, I think it's this one here. I found my cosmetics pouch and it was no that's not that's my lv stole my leopard print stole i think that was about 500 pounds <laughs> and i think that's the pochette metis what is this let's have a look what was this one was this the pit? no i don't think this is this box is too new let's see what it is so you know some of the latest louis vuitton God, there's a whole load of receipts in this one Let's have a look. Let's just have a wee nosy. Oh, this was expensive. What was this? Mini. Mini. Oh, my Palm Springs Mini. <laughs> I don't want to say. <laughs> but it'll be interesting to see just to have a look how much it was. It wasn't that cheap, by the way. God, so much. That's what we see. Palm Springs Mini. Was that the last Louis Vuitton bag I bought? I think it was. I think my Palm Springs Mini was. I don't have that many Louis Vuitton bags, but yeah, it, 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 was, it was a lot of money. <laughs> okay, so because I've, I've lifted them all down, trying to find. So that's the Louis Vuitton. That's the. So I think this was. Goodness gracious me. No, that was my cosmetic pouch, £205, that was the cosmetic pouch there. So that's, that was the old brown box. So that was my Shit Metis box. It's also got the repair receipt in there as well. So I'm going to leave that... <coughs> it's dust <coughs> coming from the boxes. It's a she that... I dust every week. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I haven't been dusting those boxes very well. What was that one? Did I say this? Oh yeah, that was the same. Keep doing the same thing. That was the, the store. Right, so, so they can all go at the top. I'm going to leave that one there to do the video. I decided on... <laughs> can you see the dust? I decided on the um, classic medium today because I wore my Valentino shoes that have got the gold spikes let me sit down I've got the gold spikes underneath and I've left them downstairs because I want to take them and get them rehealed if I put them away in the box I'm not going to get them rehealed so I've left them down there so I specifically do that because I could hear them clicking today and let me tell you you know how we normally say oh, I rarely see a Chanel bag blah blah I saw many a Chanel bag today. I saw somebody, listen, you can tell the real deal a mile away. I saw somebody carrying a mini, the square mini as well. I've never seen the square mini apart from YouTube videos. Um, first of all, tangled up because I've just been kind of, I never even got changed when I came home. Yeah, I've only seen the square mini in, in videos. Oh, it's beautiful. And this particular person was wearing it cross body. Oh, it was, it was lovely. But I, I saw I saw a lot of designer bags today. A lot, let me tell you, a lot of designer bags. So yeah. What did I have in this? I actually used my lipstick holder. I remember my lipstick holder. Was it in this in this or the jumble that it always used to get caught out? But this was coming out quite easily. I was wearing the Tom Ford. No, I wasn't. I was wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. The original one that's matte. I love it. It's kind of 
there but not there so I love it and that's when I use the pillow talk I use pillow talk everything today um I do love the pillow talk I will always have them in my collection always 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 in the wee pots eyes to mesmerize always I will always have them in my collection like the minute they finish I will repurchase them and I will be gutted if they don't have them and the wee one with the four shadows the quad pillow talk always have that so that's what I had today there's the lip liner um, and that was the first funeral that I've been to since the pandemic that no um, masks were worn nobody wore um, uh, one person was wearing a mask and that was because he said he wasn't well and he was standing next to Rico he told Rico he wasn't well and then he put the mask on I also had my just in case we went anywhere after I had my, because I didn't want to wear a bright lipstick at a funeral, I had my Hermes Cassac matches my nails because I put my Cassac nail varnish on last night because I wanted to. Yeah. So, so, love it, love it. And we're just going to shove it right there just now. Um, I was going to do a video on, I was going to title it, um, are, are we normalising our shopping habits? Do, do, do we not get that feeling sometimes that... Oh, here I go. <laughs> do we not get that feeling sometimes that in this luxury community we normalise these shopping, shopping, shopping habits? All the Zara hauls. I mean, how many people in real life go to Zara and come out with bags full of things which is what we see on YouTube and the reason we see it on YouTube is because it gets great big views I mean you know if you do a Zara haul it's going to get more views if you do a, a bag unboxing it's going to get uh, more views which brings me to the other topic you know like are people unboxing to get views are people buying all these things to get views why do people want views because let's face it the big channels the big youtubers that have got the big big you know they've got hundreds and thousands of followers don't really need to do unboxings because they get the views anyway it's really kind of the smaller channels that need to do unboxings and hauls to get the views do we not agree on that that's what i think i have done unboxings because i i fell into that trap as well at the beginning <laughs> let me unbox it and show the whole wide world when you know in our real life we don't really do that do we we, we will only show like if i buy a bag i'm i'm gonna say to like the girls i mean i wouldn't tell anybody else yes. uh, a couple of my friends who are into bags you know, but you wouldn't tell every Tom, Dick and Harry, would you? Like we do here on YouTube. But then there's the argument of if somebody's watching a luxury unboxing, that's what they're into. Oh, it gets, you know, when you start, that's why I thought I'm not doing it. Because when I started thinking about it, you know, I was arguing with myself on all the things that I was saying. So I wasn't agreeing with myself either. And I got this gets too complicated when you look into it because you know, like you see when we buy like something cheap and somebody says, "I like your bag," and you go, "Oh, good, there was a bargain." You know, you're more than happy to say that to somebody, aren't you? But if somebody looks at your Chanel bag and says, "Oh, that's a nice bag," for example, you're not going to go here. Yeah, this bag costs me X amount of thousands of pounds. You're not going to say that. And if somebody asked you, say if somebody said to you, nice bag, where did you get it wrong? Wrong? <laughs> yeah, wrong. Nice bag, where did you get it from? <laughs> Chanel. Oh, how much? I bet that cost you a pretty penny. How much was that? I'm not, I'm not going to tell anybody how much it cost me. Am I? I'm not going to. But here I am on YouTube. Telling the whole wide world. So I'm just going to go, yeah, it's a lot of money, you know, and you, you kind of just try and change the subject. Yeah, it's a lot. How much it cost you? Yeah, it was a lot of money. That was it. But, you know, there's a lot of money in this telling somebody how much it is. So, I don't know. I've also been posting on my Instagram about don't worry what other people think as well. So, I'm in conflict with myself, basically.
so I'm not making a video with it because I am in conflict with myself so you know and I, I, I question myself about these things all the time why do people keep buying bags especially the ones that keep buying bags keep buying bags why do you think it's to do with people don't know their own personal style and they're just buying all the time like me I'm very sure of my personal style I know what I like and what I don't like and I know you know it doesn't mean anything that I like I should buy I like a lot of things I do like a lot of bags a lot of bags but one I'm not necessarily going to use them over what I've already got and two, I don't really need to have all these bags in my collection. I want to use, like, I use my Chanel bags. And you'll see that they're probably my most used out of my luxury bags when I go out. They're, they're the ones that I go to and that's why I won't buy another bag because I know that's the ones I want to use. They were the ones I've always wanted, always wanted that is Chanel for me and I'm glad I got them before they got really 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 expensive but in saying that they were still expensive when I got them because they were I don't care what anybody says spending a zero and a zero and a zero on a bag <laughs> right, shut up let's let's do the tag video and let's have a laugh and you know anyway that's what I'm doing on this Good Friday, which is not actually my Good Friday. My Good Friday is next week. <laughs> I had my Balmain blazer on as well today, which I love. See, these are the classics. These are the classics, people. Love them. Love this old dress. Anything up? Wore this over this dress. Valentino shoes. I should have done an outfit, shouldn't I? So I had my Balmain Valentino shoes, classic flat. And that was me. That's what I wore today. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the 16th of April. Can we tell who's visiting? Can we? This little angel right here is visiting. Aren't you, Georgie? You're having a sleepover? Mm-hmm. So Georgie's having a wee sleepover and she's going to go to church with us tomorrow because tomorrow is our Palm Sunday. I know for everybody else it's Easter Sunday, but it's our Palm Sunday. She's asked if she can have her Easter egg. So this was the Easter egg I got her. Got it a while back because I knew these would sell out. This is the um, popping candy. Do we remember popping candy? So uh, she's asked if she can have that tonight. And as she's Staying as a special treat, she can have it before Easter, can't you? Yeah. So there you go, Georgie Mo. Let's switch this off just now. Gonna open it up. Yeah. Yeah. From here. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Where's it gone? Oh. Go on, pull, pull the flap up. I would have loved to have tried this egg. Hmm. That's it. Gonna pick out the little smarties. Um, there you go. Can you can? Hit it once. Hit, hit it with that side. That's it. Not, 
that nice? Bite a bit of the chocolate, see if it's popping candy. See if it pops in your mouth. No? Is it popping? <laughs> Open your mouth and me hear if it's popping. <laughs> Bapu, try a bit. Let Bapu tr give Bapu a wee bit to try. <laughs> I can hear it. It's popping. It's popping. Have you had that before? Your mummy gave you some of it? Is that your favourite? Mm. Maybe just some bits of it, yeah? Can you see them where it's going to pop? Put that off. Right, can we hear now? Oh god, there's midges! Oh. oh my goodness me. Oh, you'll never get to the top of the hill with her there. <laughs> So they're all way ahead of me. I get to do the lovely jobs. <laughs> yeah, scoop the poop. Oh. oh my god, it's actually quite a mild night, but that means the midges are out, and that's not good. Oh, I'm not good with midges. Oh my goodness, aren't me. they? They don't, but they don't attack Bapu. The midges that is there. They just go for us, you know why? Because we're princesses. Mm -hmm. Good morning, welcome to Easter Sunday. For those that are celebrating today, it's the 17th of April. We are ready to go to church to celebrate Palm Sunday. I was just getting my green tea ready. Uh, Georgie did an overnight and we were learning how to draw rabbit rabbits. So that was, I think one was her Bapu's and one was hers, yeah. That was Georgie's and that was Bapu's. That was mine and that was Georgie's there. And it's quite good. I actually had to YouTube it. So we followed a demonstration on YouTube. Georgie has her lovely outfit on. Her wee rabbit outfit that her granny got her. She looks absolutely beautiful. But she's just now discovered Harry Potter for the first time and she's loving it, aren't you? She is very excited to have discovered Harry Potter. Should we do a quick outfit? Well, I've only got half of it on. So this is a little dress, but well, it's a suit. It has a matching jacket. Um, it's got black tights on. I was going to wear my Valentinos, but they need rehealed, so I don't want to wear them again. But I'm leaving them there because I'm going to take them with me and drop them off and get them fixed. I'm taking my medium classic, and that's the jacket that matches the dress. And I've added my brooch, and I'll show you what it looks like on all together. So I think I'm going to quickly tidy this up while she's watching Harry Potter, and then we're going to go. Okay, here's the full outfit. So that's a jacket with a wee Chanel brooch, Chanel bag, and that's us. And that's all of Georgie's things right there. Very old, this dress. Karen Millen, it was, this suit. There we go. The old classics always come out time and time again. The difference is I can fit into it now. Right, we better go. I'm 
gonna get my clothes off Ooh. and get something comfortable Rico's just on his way to take Georgie back home so we brought her back because she's now missed her mummy and daddy and wants to see her mummy and daddy so we brought her back gave her two boiled eggs for lunch because she loves her boiled eggs but she loves the eggs that Yaya makes because I make a perfect boiled egg got my shoes rehealed boom boom thankfully there we go they're all done didn't wear them today I can't remember what I've said because <laughs> so much going on anyway I'm gonna get changed but it was so good to fit into my Karen Mellon dress love it I need to remember to take my brooch off but yeah the joys the joys so I've also had my porridge because I didn't have anything to eat so I'm gonna put my bag away and enjoy some sunshine and maybe a wee glass of wine as it's Palm Sunday and I can have fish today I'm actually really looking forward to my soul mmm lovely jubbly because I feel as if I've been living just on veg which has done my, my joints feel they the best that they have felt for such a long time today I don't know but I was reading that that cel cel celeriac vegetable that it's really good as an anti-inflammatory as well so this hand is great I would say this hand is normal it's almost almost normal this honestly feels so good but I'm sure bread and pasta's got to do with it as well so the diet has really really helped me it's really helped me and last night I had two glasses of organic Prosecco Rosé so it's not alcohol that's bothering me and I had two glasses on Friday night as well so basically over two nights I had a bottle of wine <laughs> but that organic Prosecco is quite low in alcohol it's low in comparison to other wines right let's see what I'm gonna wear and get out of this caramel dress Feels so good to fit into it again. <laughs> <laughs>